A massive mix-up and the biggest single payout in Powerball history. Massachusetts lottery officials originally said the winning ticket was sold in Watertown, but the $758 million winner actually bought the ticket at this store in Chicopee. So here's what the founder of the Pride Chain had to say this morning. Feeling right now? Pretty good. <laughs> well, we're happy for um, our customer. And we're happy for the charities that we're going to give our commission to. What are those charities? Uh, they're all local because we support all local charities anyways. So they'll just get a little bonus. What yep. has this morning been like for you? Uh, it's yeah. been, uh, the phone started ringing at 8 o'clock and we, um, uh, we're as surprised as, as everybody else. So obviously this was a huge mix-up. You first heard it was over in Watertown. Then you hear it's over here in the morning. What was that call like? Kind of give us the rundown of the succession of events on how you guys well, got the real news. Uh, there was no succession of events for me, I'm sorry to tell you, because I hadn't heard about the Watertown thing. Uh, I was up working and didn't even know about it till I found, then we found out directly that we had won it. By then, all the confusion was gone. So I can't help you on that one. <laughs> Can you tell us about the, uh, the charity you're donating to? Uh, they will all be local. Uh, because we support all our local charities already, so we will just be divvying it up, dividing it up between them. Are there any that you can name specifically? Um, they are all local charities. Uh, let me think. Uh, we do a, um, a some homeless programs. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot with foster kids. Uh, we do a lot with education. Our primary focus is on education and children. Right. What has this so, morning been like for you? How does it feel right now, having everyone around at your gas station? Yeah, um, one that's on its face. I don't know. That's kind of hard to describe. <laughs> uh, you know, we're trying to, we yeah. we come in, into other emergencies and other situations anyway. So this kind of all is just one more. That's all. But it's a happy one this time. How much money are you going to be getting? We don't know yet. Uh, they're not sure. Uh, I think it's 50000 uh, we're told that it's capped at 50000 for us, that all stores, that's the max they get. Have you seen a lot more business out here this morning? I haven't been here, but <laughs> probably. <laughs> how long have you owned this? With your oh, um, we built this location maybe 30 years ago. And how many, how many of these do you, you own several prides, right? Uh, we have 30 in this area, yes. Uh, Western Massachusetts and Northern Connecticut. And have you ever had an experience like this where you had all this attention here because of a lottery? No. <laughs> Do you know um, until now what your largest uh, jackpot was that was sold here? Um, our biggest one, we've sold, we sold a 10 million last year at our at Pride stores. And in the last year, we looked it up this morning, uh, we sold, we've sold two $4 million winners and four one million one million dollar winners at our chain uh, just in the last twelve months. Any of this location? Yes, this has had uh, this has had some big ones. I don't know were, which you watch. Were they able to tell you when the ticket was sold? Yes, yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, about like, about two thirty. Do the clerks have I'm any told. guesses on who the, the winner was? Uh, if you let me ask some people, I might have some details on that. I don't know, but. I, I, as I understand it, it was a middle-aged woman, so and it was about 2:30 yesterday afternoon. Do you think this is a lucky station? Uh, all the pride stations are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you that one of your customers has had a life-changing event now? Um, we're very happy for them, and we hope that they um, share it uh, properly also. Uh, because there's a lot of needs in this uh, in our area. The a lot of needs all over. We all know that. The lottery is saying this was a transcription error that they were handwriting the three stores that had won the one million versus the big jackpot. That that was not at our at our end. Our end. This was strictly uh, the customer gave us the numbers or asked us to pick a number. I don't know. We put it in a terminal and that was it. The confusion error with the Watertown store was apparently a lottery headquarters uh, in the Boston area. You said a middle-aged woman. Do you have any idea if she was part of a pool or anything? Or do you think, is it your understanding that she 
Well, they wouldn't know that. All they, they did some research and they were able to tell us it happened around 2.30 here to a middle-aged woman. How, how did that, they, I'm not sure if they know that yet. How did they figure that out? Uh, everything is tracked, so as you know nowadays, they can go back to, uh, through their records, because everything online is uh, digitized and kept, and so they were able to see. It's probably on the tapes inside, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't think anybody's looked at yet. Can you say your name and story last time? Oh yeah, my name is uh, Bob Bolduck, B-O-L-D-U-C. And how many fry stations do you sit here? Uh, 30. 30. Do we know the name of the clerk that sold the ticket? Yes, Angelica. Is she working today? She comes on duty after lunch, I understand. Well, <laughs> af later this afternoon. Have you spoken to her yet? I have not. I just found out about two minutes ago, <laughs> right before this, uh, before this. And what are you going to give to Angelica? We're going to give all the money to charity. Okay. That's, that's our... That's our pattern. We uh, we really believe in supporting uh, our local charities. Nothing for Angelica? Uh, how would we single out Angelica over anybody else? I mean, there was somebody else working with her. Um, and then, you know, where do you stop? Um, we pay our people well. We give them full benefits. We're a good employer. And uh, they're happy that we give the money to charity. You said it was $50,000 for the store. Is that per store or is it only this Location. Oh no, just this location gets okay. it. Yeah. And when I say charities, I mean charities in Western Mass. That's who we support. Do you think there'd be an onslaught of ticket buyers now that you won the There normally is, yes. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, we'll just see an uptick in lottery sales, that's all. And it'll be a, throughout the chain, especially knowing that in the last 12 months we've sold two $4 million tickets and four $1 million tickets. Uh, that will resonate with a lot of lottery buyers. That's a good question. I don't know. Bob, do you have any plans for celebrations or anything special coming up? Uh, Pride happens to be celebrating its 100th year anniversary, uh, and we're about to open up our new uh, bakery. So that's our celebration right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been in business for 100 years now. Uh, the family has, yes. Yeah, we started. Uh, my dad ran a guest, my dad and grand, my father ran a, my grandfather was in the business of repairing carriages. The family evolved into automobiles and then I moved it into uh, gas stations, convenience stores, now full courts, lots of food. Uh, we like to think we're keeping up with the times. In fact, we like to think we're ahead of the times. <laughs> and just to clarify, those, um those tickets you sold over the past year, uh, were those in this store, those went in this store, or in uh, no, all the No, that's, that's throughout the chain. Okay. You seem pretty calm about all this. This is making national news. <laughs> uh, well, I, that's the way it is, I guess. This, you know, we, being it, when you're a small business and you go through all the issues of building a business, you run into lots of problems along the way. And uh, so this is just another one. It, it's just a few more zeros on the uh, dollar amount, that's all. Do you believe in fake coincidences? Do you think this was meant to happen at this store? Um, I, I believe in fate and a higher power, yes. Whether that, if, whether that moves the lottery or not, I can't tell you. Do you think, do you think the winner, do you think she's gonna come into the store? I have no idea. <laughs> And you, have you looked back through your surveillance video to see if you know her? She's a regular we customer? Only, we only found out uh, half an hour ago. Uh, the lottery was able to tell us that it was yesterday here at 2.30 and it was a middle-aged woman. But we haven't had a chance to look at no. How, how many tickets do you sell a day here at the store? I wish I could answer that. We sell a lot of tickets at Pride. Uh, we give good, good service. We, we're a, we're a friendly local chain, and so local people buy with us. So we get our share of tickets, maybe a little more, because we have a high traffic. Roughly how many? Hundreds, thousands, what do you think? Thousands. We sell a lot of lottery tickets. At this one store? I, I can, I'll have to verify that, because I don't know. But I know we sell a lot, a lot, of, a lot of lottery. What are your yeah. hopes that the winner does with the money? You know, obviously, community service is huge to you, but what do, what do you hope that she does? Uh, that she spends it wisely. <laughs> I don't know what else to say for that. 
Would you say you are feeling proud today? Uh, I'm not proud. I didn't do anything about it. Uh, we just all happened to be the lucky people involved, that's all, and I'm, we're glad to be able to pass it on. So I'm happy in that sense. That, you know, there are a lot of needs around here. Oh, there you have it. If you were at the Pride in Chicopee around 2.30 yesterday, your life may be about to change.